hello everyone welcome back today i share with you how i made this onion stew recipe with assorted meats it's very delicious you can eat with anything you choose to you can even use it for jollof rice mm, it's going to be more yummy delicious come on guys let's get right into the video if you love to see how we got it done don't forget to give me a like share and comment white rice i'm going to go ahead and parboil my white rice like we do in nigeria so i'm going to add some salt to this rice to parboil this rice you need some salt that way it will kill all the jams all the dirty and then make you have a tasty white rice we are making white rice i'll bring out my stuff for stew we are making stew as well yeah so i'll just let this cook for 10 minutes all right guys i'm going to cover this up and come back to check this in 10 minutes so guys i want to rinse it out you can see the starch water that's why i added that salt that salt will help you bring out all of those starch very well so all you want to do is to wash it like three times depending on how starchy depending on how starchy it is so you just want to wash it until you get all of these things out can you see wash it until the water is clear so i'm going to wash 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 until the water is clear i'll show you okay so you wash your rice until the water is clear like so and then you add it in your bigger sieve this is it so this is my rice all nicely washed you can see no single deaths guys can you see how nice and clean so I'm going to go in with my butter next is my salt and yeah I'm going to add water This is about seven cups of water. Now we have 12 cups of water. So you can see where this water is. That is how you want to boil your white rice. This butter will separate it for you. You can add granite oil if that's what you can get. You can add onions if you want. I don't want to add onions. I just want to add this butter. The butter will separate it and it will make that rice come out very delicious. It will help the rice to come out standing out and very delicious and tasty. So guys, our rice is ready. I'm about to take it out. Yeah, didn't waste time. See how it's, it's standing. You don't want to be eating your white rice and it's all dried up. No, this is how you're going to enjoy your white rice. This is onion stew, guys. So here is my tomatoes. And here are all my tatashi, red bell. I'm going to blend some green bell into it, but I'll go ahead and clean this up. I have ginger and garlic. So here is my pot. I have a little bit of um, oil. I've gone in with soil oil. This is what I'm going to be using for this. Here, I'll quickly add my thyme. I'll add my curry i'll add my bear leaf it will give a beautiful flavor to your stew when you add all of these aromats at this point i'll add my onion this onion stew i'm going to blend a lot of onion into my pepper blend here is our blend i'll be pouring it in so here is my tomato paste before i add the pepper blend i like to fry my tomato paste so i can get rid of that bitter taste in my tomato paste so I'm going to add this tomato paste in at this point add a little bit of salt to quickly get rid of that um, tomato paste taste if you understand what I mean 
chips, I'll allow it to toast for like five minutes and then I'll start adding all the blended stuff. So guys, I'll add this to my stew. I'll add it in until I have added everything in guys. This is like 10 minutes later. I'm going to blend the remaining of this stuff. I still have some green peppers coming in. And here is our remaining onion and some green peppers. I'm going to blend it in right now. See how our stew is coming. So I'm going to go in with all of these blends. Trust me, you want to go about your sauce this way. Mix everything to combine. This is kind of sauce, kind of stew. For your rice, you can use it for yam. You can even use it to make jollof rice, yeah, but this is for white rice actually, so it has to be like sauce, so you can be able to eat it with your rice, you know. It's another way you can make your stew and enjoy it. Everything is not pureed. You have some pureed, you have some crushed. That's the way this stew is. So you want to try this, I'm sure you will love it. I'm going to add all type of meat in here so that it can be very flavorful and yummy. You know, yeah, it has to be thick. It's not going to be that watery, that watery stew that you, you know, this one is going to be thick. I'm going to add meat broth, but I'll let it cook. I'm going to add my chicken broth in. Yeah, it has enough oil in it. That will give us some more oil. But now we're just going to close this stew and let it cook nicely. Then I will taste and see if I have to add any more seasoning. So guys, our stew is cooking nicely. This stew is cooking nicely, guys, as you can see. Stew, I have protein here. So I'll be adding all of this protein. It's a delicious sauce. Like I said, this is just like an oiless stew. It's onion stew actually, but almost oilless. You can see. This is how you, you are going to enjoy it. You can call it sauce, you can call it stew, but trust me, this is very delicious. You can eat with rice yam beans with whatever you choose to eat with you know when i make this stew it lasts us a long time actually but trust me this stew i'm making my uncle has requested for this stew you guys know my uncle you saw in my video some time ago that did birthday yeah he requested for stew we are going to his house today because we have a family gathering. So he requested for white rice and stew. And that's why I made it this special. Decided to make onion stew for him. Trust me, guys. You will love this if you try it. It's ready. I will just leave it for a minute just for the meats to get the, the enough juice. for two minutes so that the meat and the stew can get to know each other. Our onion stew is ready with all of the rishi rishis. Can you see? Very delicious. Very tasty, very yummy. This is how you want to serve it. It's consistency. I hope you give it a try. Would you still be loving, be kind, be merciful? God loves the merciful heart. Ciao, ciao. See you in my next video.